missed that. Is anybody out? The Jamaica trip just happened. The Shaggy thing again? It just happened last I week. I know! Thing, man. I'm so yeah. mad. Yeah. I'm going to text him tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Yeah. I'm going to be like, listen, I need to come to every single one. I'm like you now. I'm part of it. Right? <laughs> Uh, another one I do is for uh, Big Poppy. I, I DJ his uh, fundraisers out in DR, so we just did that in the middle of December. Oh, dope. That was that was. Fun. What part of DR? Uh, I have no idea. Put the kind of somewhere. Oh, okay. Out, so. Super cool. Yeah. I love both of those places. Hey, 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 we up early. I heart radio and all that. <laughs> I got my, it's propped up. Huh? Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta be careful. Oh, yeah, hold on. We'll talk about all that. <laughs> Uh-oh. What is, he, what is he trying to hide, guys? What you got, what you got behind there, pup? <laughs> all right. Yeah, straight from Pakistan to L.A. to Boston, my girl. For years now, man. Ashanti back in Boston. What up? What's up, baby? How are you, man? I'm amazing. Okay, first of all, you're going live right now. I'm live. On what? On Instagram, okay. Ashanti. <laughs> Ashanti live on Instagram. Now, doesn't that get scary? Because we're just having conversations about whatever. <laughs> and then do you forget sometimes that you're like literally on tv all day long i did forget once or twice that it was on and then i looked back like oh shit. i deleted because you know you know that wasn't supposed to be up but but nothing is deleted Everything no is if you somewhere. don't if you don't save it or post it no you can go back and delete it you can but you really think it's delete you think it's gone out of everywhere look i hope so <laughs> Yo, Chanti's in here right now, the queen, the legend, the girl, she's got a record out with Ty Dolla Sign right now, yeah. you look amazing. Thank you. I know it's a little cold out, but man, you are killing everybody on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel bad saying that, because like, you know, I've always been attracted to you, and I, I, I follow you, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, I actually know this girl, and we've been to Jamaica, I've been to your birthday parties, and I'm not supposed to look at you like that. <laughs> Listen, it's a compliment. I appreciate it. Yo, Chanti, you really look great. Thank Mama you. Mama looks great, too. You guys Thank both. you Thank so you. much. What is it, in the blood? It's <laughs> definitely in the genes. Definitely in the blood. It's just, you know. Now, I've got a new record out uh, with Ty Dolla Sign, Say Less. I mean, obviously, classics for days. We can we can go through that catalog and it would be done. The, the, the day would be done. But <laughs> let's go to the new record first, and then we'll come back with some more Chanti. Let's do it. Uh, go ahead and introduce it for everybody. Here's my new joint. Say less featuring Ty Dolla Sign produced by DJ Mustard. Holla. You know what I mean? So you can be engaged. You know, we're turning into like a technical, I don't even know, carbon cut, just, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Yeah, no, I mean, and it, it, it's, it's just a whole different world. Even with musically, where are you, like, you learned the business from a long time ago, from when you when mm -hmm. you first started, mm -hmm. and now you see a lot of artists learning the business yeah. with the pubs and stuff like that. And this is why I think you've stayed very um, relevant and very paid because you've known the business, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, what made you learn that? Like, how early and who taught you that? And is it just manager? I mean, I know it's your mom, but like, was it all? You know what? Honestly. I've always, I've always had like a niche to kind of want to know what's going on, even from my, my very first record deal. And I don't think I've ever said this um, publicly, but there was a label I was signed to when I was very young and I wasn't happy with the way things were going on. Mm. So one night in, in the office, because the studios were in the offices of the building and I went in one of the CEO's desks and I started to look at my paperwork Oh wow! and I started to see things that I didn't like we we'll just leave it at that and it started to register to me that oh wait a minute this is what's going on with the money like mm -mm. you know what I mean right. so very young I was always like I wanted to know I wanted to be aware I wanted to know what what dollar was being spent and how and you know what I mean yeah. so just growing up and then being signed uh, to majors and Def Jam and you know learning from a lot of the greats I just started to soak up a lot of um, knowledge, you know, and just to become more powerful and to become more in charge. And it's not like me having my own record label right now, Written Entertainment. 
It's not like a decision that I made to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to leave the majors and this is what I want to do. It was a situation where I was kind of like thrown into the ocean. You know what I mean? And you're either going to sink or you're going to swim. Right. You know, and I had to learn very fast with the little knowledge that I picked up along the way. I had to apply it very fast. You know, and it was so hard. So hard. It's still hard. But, you know. You still you know. hold the record of like the most amount of album sales as a female, right? Or something. I saw Yeah, it's right? the fastest selling debut artist in music history as a female and a new artist. And now with those kind of numbers, you've heard it from the other artists from back, you know, at the time everything was happening. There's no way around financially either. So that's awesome that, you know, you were you were a little nosy, but <laughs> <laughs> it was a great reason. You were and you were like, yo, something's not right here. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm super grateful, you know, super humbled. I'm, I, I love the support you know, that I've been getting from my family, which means so much, because without a solid foundation, you'll never last in right. this industry. You know what I mean? Especially okay. with all the things, everyone goes through trials and tribulations and ups and downs, but to go through things publicly is, you know, it's a little different. Right. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, I'm just, I'm happy and I'm grateful, honestly. Yeah, I've never been the kind of guy, like, I, even I, I was listening to you with Maddie and, like, you know, bringing up stuff, like, I'm always like, yo, like, at the end of the day, if you weren't Ashanti, would you care about her relationship situation? I just never, that never understood, I never understood why people are so, it's like the reality TV. Like, you always want to watch something that's not going good so you can make yourself feel good about yourself. Is that I, what it is? I genuinely think that's what it is. That's I crazy. really do. It's, you know, misery loves company. Right. You know what I mean? So if you feel like certain things aren't going right for you to watch someone else suffer kind of gives you a little bit like, well, I ain't the only one. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, okay, you may feel like that, but it's another thing to like throw crazy comments at people and judge people and get crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's a different level. And the, and the world we live in now, it's in your, like, I want to, I don't even get close to some of the stuff that people say to you. But I want to turn off my comments because I'm constantly wondering what people are telling me. Like, mm. how are they criticizing me? And that, I, I, I really stepped back last year, a year before on social media when it comes to being on it. You know, like, mm -hmm. I post and I run. Okay. Like, I'm not looking at what, comments, you know, you right. know I'm seeing what other people are doing all the time. Because right. I'm not moving forward. Absolutely. You know, you're always like, oh, man, Ashanti's out in Bahamas. I want to go to the Bahamas. <laughs> but, like, I'm not doing anything to get out there. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't so, get distracted by what's going on if you ain't got it. So, I, I think <laughs> since, you know, for, for, you know, like, you're just Chapter all two days. It, right? <laughs> How is it watching some of the comments? Do you watch them and, like, you, does it bother you a little bit? Like, um, Not all the time. I rarely look at comments. I'll skim through. Yeah. You know, me, I have to gauge a sense of what my fans want and what they like and you know what I mean right. what keeps them motivated so I scan through and I show love like I talk back and you know I like comments and stuff like that right. not a lot but I do it right um well you can because again you gotta work too yeah to exactly right. you know what I mean but as far as like negative comments it, it's for me it's some it, I may get upset for a second and then I'm, I'm like damn I feel sorry because you must be one miserable right <laughs> And you know, I realize that you <laughs> look like a miserable person right now. Like, what are you doing? Right. It's taking more negative energy for you to write that than for you to go find something to make you happy. Just yesterday, someone tweeted at me, and, um, yo, bro, nobody listens to your stations. Like, you guys play Wax Up. And I kind of was like, first I said, okay, cool, thanks, have a good day. Right. Like, one, that's, okay, cool, thank you. Right, your that's opinion. your opinion, uh-huh. But you follow me, you follow the station, <laughs> you follow everything that I'm doing. Like, you look like the herb right now. Right. <laughs> I just said, how, how do you like the station? Right, you know exactly, I mean? exactly. exactly. Like, you, you took the time out to so you, you took the time out to tell me something negative. Negative. I hope you have a good day. Right. Because like, you, need, you, you need this more than me right now. Yeah. If that made you feel good, my brother, I got you. Right. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Exactly right. Yo, Ashanti's in here right now. And um, I was with Joe Crack, Fat Joe. And my guy has so many amazing stories. And he told me about a story about uh, a Dubai trip that you <laughs> couldn't make it on. <laughs> and how they got kind of held hostage. Yo, were you there at that one? Were you, I mean, bounced, you bounced out, right? You had to I, jump in on the flight and 
after the performance, you're like, I gotta get the F out of here. I think so. I think so. That was the first time me and Joe <laughs> had seen each other in I don't even know how long. And it was crazy because it had been the 10-year anniversary of What's Love. And okay. we performed it together for Formula One that year. It was out of nowhere. It was crazy. Oh, my God. Crazy. Yo, he has stories for days. I love listening to his conversations. Oh, my gosh. So. Joe, that's my brother. Yeah. Joey! <laughs> hey, Joe! So, hey, everybody respects you, man. You've been you've been doing it for so long. You're still very much doing it. Obviously, say less. And we were talking off air. I don't know if you were Instagram Live with them, <laughs> all the people that you're working with. But man, you're working with some heavyweights again, and you are the heaviest weight when it comes to the artist caliber. But it's Thank dope that you. everybody's like, yeah, showing love you know, and yeah. wanting to be a part of it. It's an amazing feeling, you know what I mean? Just to have a connection with the millennials. You know, the fact that I got fire records with Sway. You know, I got fire records with Metro and fire records with Tory Lanez. Like, it's really a really good, a genuinely good feeling. And it's not forced. Right. You know, phone calls come in like, yo, I want to, yo. You know what I mean? Yeah. And definitely a lot of love for my brother, uh, Slow, from Slow Bucks. He's been a and my project. Nice. And the way that we network and he puts things together is just so dope. And it just becomes an organic thing. You know what I mean? And it's never forced, right. you know? So it's a really cool thing. That's awesome, man. Ashanti's in here right now. Did you, um, when people found out you're getting back in the studio... Or, like, have you always been in the studio? Because I know you travel a lot, you do mm -hmm. a lot of things, and again, you got your stuff together, so it's not like you have to live and die by the studio. Oh, I gotta put out a record real right, quick, you know? Right, right, you, right. you did stop for a little bit. Mm -hmm, I did. Uh, I was did. that a personal reason you stopped? Was there. Um, there was just so many things going on, you know? Um, there was a time period where it was like, okay, I wanna get my stuff together, get myself together, and figure out how I'm going to make this work mm -hmm. for me and, and my benefit. Um, again, learning, like, now I own my masters. You know, it took a lot for me to understand how to do that and what that meant, yeah. you know what I mean, to get it done. And now I have a direct deal with iTunes, you know, and my percentage is way bigger. You know, so it was a lot of putting things in play to create a foundation to have the platform to do what I need to do. Right. You know what I mean? Obviously, with film and television, I executive produced a film called Mother. And, you know, it was just a wow. lot of cool things happening along the way. Right. You know what I mean? It was cool. It had uh, We had Sharon Stone. We had uh, Christina Ricci. We had Susan, Susan. Susan Sarandon. Wow. Um, it was really, really cool. Um, obviously, they put my song Mother in it. And um, it was a really good experience. See, I'm so music-focused uh, and oriented that, like, you I miss that, I, pup? No, I, I don't even know that you do that stuff on the side, you know? Yeah, and you have to. I'm going to Google you before you come in because that's not what we're about, and I don't want to do that, you know? I don't want to go through the, hey, so, you know, you've been, you know, like, ah, you know? <laughs> but that's so dope that you have all this other stuff going on as a mm -hmm. businesswoman, you know? You have to. You yeah. have to. I was talking to someone yesterday, and I was like, it, it, it's impossible to be able to last and be successful with a one-track mind and putting all your eggs in one basket, especially in this climate. You know what I mean? Like, you have to do other things. I don't care if it's you're a sketch artist. Whatever it is, you have to do other things to maintain. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone always talks about, yeah, again, you're a, you're a, you're an entrepreneur and you're a business. Everybody knows that you got your letter. Are you looking at new artists? Um, I do. do, you do that? I do have an idea uh -huh. about an artist that I do want to sign. It's something completely different for me. Um, and I think if it, if it works, it's going to be crazy. Nice. It really, really is. I mean, I'm not going to do it now because I got to get my stuff course, out and, yeah. you know, do what we need to do. But I've had this idea for about, I want to say, five, six years. So I want it to be right. Yeah. If it happens, oh boy! Oh, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Whatever touches, man. You know, like obviously, even with the movies and stuff, I've seen you pop up in TV shows and movies, and I'm like, man, this girl, man, <laughs> that's awesome. Now, what are you telling you? You've been in it before the internet game, and now you're in it with the internet game. Mm -hmm. What are you telling the young ladies and the and the fellas out there that is coming into this business in the last couple of years? Um, they, they, they get they get thirty eight seconds with you in the elevator, Ashanti. Oh my God! This is the next station. I know you got to get on stage. But I need your help. What do, what do I need to know from you? What I would tell you is always have a thick skin. Never let anyone deter you from what you want to do or your focus in life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Always think outside of the box and always go for what's what's what is the void. If nine thousand people are doing this. Do this so that people have an option to go over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's important to kind of just 
love yourself, be yourself, and work hard and go after what you genuinely believe in your heart. Because people will know. Yeah. You know what I mean? People will find out and they'll be like, eh, it's a facade. Yo, exactly. I tell this people. It might not happen right away. Yeah. But fakeness is always going to, like, if you don't have passion, like, I saw doing a lot of clubs a couple of years ago because that whole, no disrespect to Pitbull and Neil, but that, you know, the give me everything was mm -hmm. that kind of style was mm -hmm. popping. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't my favorite thing. I'm a big reggae head. You me know, too. We, we partied in you Jamaica. know it in Jamaica. <laughs> um, I'm a big reggae head. So when I started going to the clubs and they're trying to tell me, like, yo, you got to, play this i'm like i don't tell you how to promote right so you hired me for a reason you know i'm just gonna fall back because i'm not enjoying it anyways gotcha and when i'm not i can do a reggae set and i come out of there like flexing like, yeah you know, like or even yeah a set that i enjoy mm -hmm. but like stuff like if i'm not enjoying it i'm not even, it's not even worth it right you know? and people will pick up on that yes. you know what i mean you don't want to be fake about it right you know there you go, man. Ashanti's in here right now. Thank you so much for stopping by. Of always, course. Always great chopping it up with you. She's got this record out with uh, Ty Dolla Sign. We're going to play again in a second. Yeah. Uh, so many classics on classics, man. And again, own your publishing, own your masters, yeah. own your business. Absolutely. Absolutely. Get your own deals. Go directly to the horse's mouth and yeah. just work like a crazy person. And the thing you just said in the elevator about, you know, if 9,000 people are going one way, go the other way. I'm so glad your first record is not what's happening with the trap stuff right now. That's and again, so crazy. It's, it's just everyone just jumps on it and yeah. it's like, oh, I got this hot record. It's like, okay, but now you sound exactly like Travis Scott. Right, and I'm right, gonna go right, over right. Travis Scott way right. before this Joe Schmo and I it sucks, but hey, that's Travis Scott is the Kobe Bryant of, you know, like if it's fourth quarter right. and there's thirty seconds left, I'm putting Kobe Bryant and not the twelfth man on the on the right, squad. Right. I, mean, I would love to give the twelfth man the shot. Right. But I want to win. You the gotta game. go with some safe and what you know. <laughs> yes, exactly. So <laughs> that's dope that you did that. And Ty Dollar Sign, that's my bro right there too. Yeah. King, man. Like that guy's all over the place. He's so dope, so crazy. I spoke to him the other day. I think he's all like overseas somewhere. Yeah, he's about to hit his tour up too, so yeah. maybe make some pop ups here and there. Maybe. <laughs> on your own tour right now to definitely catch her up amazing show i didn't have to get on stage to dance with her if you saw i got to dance with her in my studio hey! definitely reach out to her right now ashanti everything is ashanti right You're yes live, on, everything is ashanti. live facebook i just joined this, this new thing what is it trilla trilla i just joined it it's like no don't tell me about more things <laughs> <laughs> I just it? joined. It's like it's like a, a video app. Oh. My guy, my media guy, shout out to Propane and Slow. They told me to download the app, and they're releasing the song today, actually, which is going to be super cool. Okay. So. Now, Trilla, there needs to be some kind of invent. I mean, she needs some stock in that, because... Yeah, right. I just oh, gave you guys an ill plug. You know, and that's a, like endorsement for days. <laughs> right like, Yo, I'm, I'm liking it. <laughs> Definitely go check her out. Everything's a shanty. And you want to block your name off, because you don't want nobody stealing your name. Exactly. And that comes out, right? <laughs> Every day. Hey, it's me, guys. I'm right here. <laughs> there you go. Definitely find her up right now. Say less. Let's do it one more time. One more time? One more time, one more Pop, time. for the road. Let's do it, man. Shanti, nothing but continued success. Thank you so man, much. Enough. And thank I you for always being real with me. Your mom's always been real with me yeah. um, for years now, so I appreciate you guys. And I'm happy for you, Pop. You're doing big things. Thank you. You have 100 million radio stations. <laughs> You're all over the place. Your energy's on 10. I love it. Thank you. I'm the Good APD stuff. now, too. I know. You told me. That's amazing. And then I, um, I'm working with Khaled. I'm actually dropping an album. I have a couple of artists that I'm trying to what? do like the whole uh, compilation Boston album. So, oh, that's yeah. dope. If I don't get a call, oh. we have beef, okay? Really? really? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> if I get something right for you, I'm definitely coming to you. Right? Okay. Ashanti, Pub Dog, Say Less, Ty Dolla Sign, Nothing But Love and Respect, Ashanti. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. When does that air? I'm going to hey, hey, this hey, one hey. on uh, Tuesday. Okay. Uh, I get better Damn, Tuesday and Thursday when I sleep. And I don't even know how long. So I'm going to finally do that. And then the weekend after you'll be the following. It was a shitty day yesterday. So I'll, I'll keep you up to date. Yeah, text me. Yeah, and then I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep for like 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah. When I tell you I'm about to be laid out in this truck, oh my God. <laughs> Are you guys staying here? You guys staying, right? No, we're driving. Oh, you going back no, we're, here? Well, we're staying here for a little bit, a little and then bit. tomorrow the show. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, I see what you meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going back to New York right now. Right? No. No. Yeah. We, <laughs> we flew in. No we way. We sleep in a couple hours. Hanny. That fog was crazy this morning. Yeah. I've never seen fog like that so before in my life. On Long Island coming from New York. What's up, y'all?
He said power nap time. Oh my god. Yeah. Out there. Yeah, they had a chef. They doing it big over here at iHeart. They got the chef on deck, and it's a female. Oh, yeah. They're doing it super big. Oh, so we're done. I'm sitting here like... <laughs> I know, like, I'm just chilling.